Hello everybody, uh, today I kind of want to touch on success and sort of how we view uh, the struggle to success. A lot of times when we hear successful people uh, speak, they talk about their struggles and what they went through. We all know it's blood, sweat, and tears, determination, hard work, um, and, and you're never sure of if you're going to be successful or not. Uh, the problem is, is when these people talk about success, they're already successful. It's almost like they're just destined to be successful because we know that their story is going to end up in a good place. Well at least in a successful place. We watched the inspirational montage of, of Rocky training to beat that, that crazy giant rush indeed. We look at that and it's, it's a lot of hard work and determination, but he's Rocky. We know that he's probably going to kick that rush indeed's ass, right? That and he already has the benefit of being a great boxer. He has his determination, he has his identity set, he has his goal. That's something that a lot of us don't have. Like what are we supposed to, what do we already have that we can push forward? Like let's be great college, high school students, like, I don't know, um, it seems like they already have something, a drive that we don't have. In the spirit of that, I want to share with you my story, because I'm not destined to be great, and I may not be great, I, I don't know. Um, right now, where I'm at, I know that I really like writing, I really like music, and I'm enjoying this vlogging. As far as uh, as far as this video blog is concerned, I have a good 300 subscribers. Well, I couldn't quit my job and do this. I'm enjoying it. I like doing it. I appreciate everybody who watches these videos and comments on it. Um, but I don't know if this is gonna turn into anything. Um, as far as writing is concerned, I've started two novels that both fell apart in between what 50 to 75 pages. They just they they died. I, just push them aside. I would like to come back to them, but right now I don't feel like I can tackle that. I've been working on this short story for... Well, I wrote it a while ago. I've been revising it for about four months now, and I've been talking with my teacher about the creative writing program at UCSC and creating a portfolio and whatnot, and after four months of non-stop revisions, she's finally told me that the stuff that I'm starting to catch on to, the revisions I'm just starting to make, is what's going to make a piece portfolio worthy not publishable, not even guaranteed to get me into the program, just that it's, it'll be good enough to put in a portfolio. Alright, so I've been writing short stories for a couple years now, and I've really put my heart and soul into this one, and, and the most that I've gotten is this portfolio worthy, which is fine. I'm psyched about that. Um, music, on the musical hand, I've kind of let go of wanting to do music professionally. But I do teach, I have two students, two piano students, and um, it's, it's working well so far. Um, I'd like to, you know, build up and sort of do that for my job right now and get more students, but I'm scared shitless that at any moment that their parents or they are going to realize that I'm not a real piano teacher, that I'm just some guy that kind of plays the piano and shows them a few things. I'm scared of running out of stuff to teach them. I just, I have no idea what I'm doing with it. Um, for what it's worth, it's working out fairly well, despite the fact that I feel like I'm a faker, that I'm just wearing this mask of a professional and I'm really just some punk who doesn't know what he's doing, because i that's how I feel with everything. I have these aspirations, I have these goals, I would like to do something great, I'd like to do something prolific, um, I'd like to be creative and pursue art in one form or another, but I have no idea where these are going to go, where I'm going to take them, what's going to work, what doesn't work, right? There's that famous thing from Thomas Edison is you have to find out everything that doesn't work, right? Create the light bulb a million different ways wrong to find the one thing that did. But Thomas Edison found the one thing that did, right? Lucky bastard. I've so far found a bunch of things that don't work and a few things that kind of work, or at least that I enjoy, right? I'm assuming that all of you, almost all of you that will watch this are younger, within close to my age. And if that's the case, this is where you're supposed to be. This is the successful place. That's one thing that I know for sure, is that this is the place where you're supposed to be. If you're really working your ass off and you're trying, and no matter whether you have drives or not or whatever, unless you're, of course, you're like a savant or a genius or something, right? Like Mark Zuckerberg or something. You're going to keep striving, keep working, just to end up um, one step ahead of where you are. Or end up in my place, right? If If... If you're in the place that I was two or three years ago, where you're just feeling completely overwhelmed, that you can't do anything, you can't escape the shadow of this colossus of just apathy and laziness that won't let you do anything, 
Like, that's, that's where I was two years ago, and I've worked my ass off just to get here, just to get in this place of uncertainty, of kind of doing stuff, and kind of figuring things out, and a lot of figuring out what doesn't work. Look at what success is to you. I, I always define success as in terms of productivity, of like, let's do this, let's hash this out, let's write this. My therapist told me that she gauges success in terms of inner peace, which I begrudgingly I'm starting to see how finding inner peace and forgiving yourself and this super cheesy self-love stuff actually makes you more productive. Instead of placing productivity at the top, you place inner peace at the top and productivity strings from that. Um, I'm finding that to be true. I wish it wasn't that way. I would love to continue on hating myself and uh, being down on myself over everything, but really, I want to get these things done. I want to. I want to achieve this lifestyle of of being creative and whatnot more than I want to hate myself. So, I gotta just kind of give in and and try to find that inner peace and find that balance. So um, that's my story. That's where I'm at right now in this moment, and I have no idea where I'm going to be tomorrow, anytime in the future. So you know, as you watch this, know that this is sort of this is what a um, success story looks like. That's where all of you are at. All of you are in these success stories. And and I really hope that you just push on. Just keep going. And don't get discouraged. And, um, you know, there's nothing that I have that any of you don't have. Believe me. Believe me. If I can fake it, I can fake it really well. But at the core of it, I'm just some fucking kid who's who thinks that his value comes from what he can accomplish. Let me know what you guys think and where you're at. Uh, I know some of you are going to be all over the place of steps below, steps ahead, right where I'm at. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one. And of course, Dark Souls 2 came out, so my time is now spent playing video games instead of being productive. I have no regrets about that.